According to their survey, there are about 5,000 less schools than what the education department has been planning for. Everybody in the education system uh, needs to do the right thing. It's uh, not, not only the national department, you have um, uh, provincial education board, you have all of these characters that are involved in this, in this thing. And uh, they are the ones that are not giving correct information to people up here. In response to General Secretary Moana's call for school data, he says of the 89 districts in the country, they have been able to collect data from 80 districts. Itari, uh, Goroka, Pomio, Talasia, Bogia, Henganofi, Koroba, Copiago, Kokopo, and Kerema. Because of the slow, slowness of these survey reports coming back in from our members, uh, we have been delayed by about 12 months now. He says this data reveals the outdated information the Education Department has had to work with over the years. There are plans to incorporate this data into the education system in the near future. However, he says the information they have is now out of date because the survey they conducted were done before the free education policy, which has drastically changed the number of students in schools. Some of the things that we also established was that members just went to education department, got the information from education department and sent it to us. That's incorrect. Why? Because education department have never gotten this one right for a long, long time. As part of the data collection plan, 100,000 kina was given direct to each of the 89 district treasury for the local member to appoint an independent body to conduct these surveys. While some districts were able to do so, for others, their information needed verification by the task force secretariat. He says depending on parliament's approval, they will continue to phase two of the project, which is planned to incorporate face verification equipment for accountability and data purposes. Sarah Aupong, National MTV News.